Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Pancakes Plus video series. Video series about uh, all things breakfast food. My name's Butch, I'll be your host. And if you haven't seen one of our videos before, I'm not a chef, I'm, I'm not, I don't own a restaurant, I don't work in a restaurant. I'm just an old fat guy that likes to cook. And one of the things I like to cook best is breakfast foods. So for this episode, we're going to go to the adult section of the menu and we're going to make uh, chocolate pancakes with coconut rum sauce. So first thing we need to do is start the sauce. We have, uh, we have a can, a 14 ounce can of coconut milk. Now there is a product called coconut cream and it works pretty good pretty good for for a lot of things but for this application we need the coconut milk and i'm putting it in to a um, non-stick that's the word i'm looking for a non-stick saucepan for two reasons because number one i don't want it to stick and number two I'm old and don't see as well as I used to. And the contrast between the white and the dark helps me see what's going on better when it starts boiling and what have you. And to that can of milk, we're going to add one cup of granulated sugar. One cup of granulated sugar. Stir that up. Put the heat on. Now this is an induction cooktop, so it's not going to take long for it to, to get up to speed. We will we'll let this come to a, to a boil, then we'll cut the heat and let it simmer for 20 minutes or so. It will get thick, it'll thicken up as it goes, and then uh, we'll, when, when it gets thick after about 20 minutes, we'll, we'll finish it up. Now then, for the pancakes, we go over here. In my, in my bowl here, I have a cup and a fourth of white lily, plain or all-purpose flour, to which we will add two teaspoons of Clabber Girl baking powder one teaspoon of Arm & Hammer baking soda and one quarter cup of granulated sugar like so. We stir this up until we have a good mixture. Now, as you read, as, if you've seen our uh, videos before, you will recognize this as the foundation recipe for our pancakes. Here's our first deviation from this. To this, we're adding two tablespoons of dark Hershey's cocoa. Hershey's special dark cocoa. Because I like my chocolate pancakes to be chocolatey. Is that a word? Chocolatey? I don't know. Anyway, I like it to taste chocolate. So we're going to stir this up and make sure you stir it well until most of the uh, cocoa, little clumps of cocoa, have disappeared. You'll still have a little in there, I'm sure, but mostly it's going to be, that looks good. And. Now then, let's check our sauce over here, see if it's boiling. And it's beginning to boil, so you stir this every so often. And you can see that it is about to start boiling. So we'll let that heat up just a little bit more. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Young folks won't get that. The old folks are saying, I remember that. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, 
In that cup we have, in this measuring cup, we have a one and one fourth cup of redneck buttermilk. Now, I call it redneck buttermilk because it's not cultured. Cultured buttermilk is called cultured not because it likes poetry and opera and stuff like that. It's called cultured because it has a culture of the normal bacteria that live within, within the gut and that culture is killed with heat. So it's either buttermilk will work for us. I just use the red that buttermilk. Uh, whichever's cheaper works fine. To this, we're going to add a quarter cup of canola oil. I like canola oil because it has very little flavor. It's really good for this application. Doesn't add any. Doesn't add a little, Doesn't add any flavor to the mouth of these And it also has a high smoke point, which makes it great for frying. But that's not. That doesn't apply to us. And to this mixture, we are going to add one large whole egg. One large hen apple, I call them. And we're going to mix this up a little bit. And the egg acts as an emulsifying agent to allow the, the water-based buttermilk to mix evenly with the oil. And we need to check our sauce over here. And as you can see, it's beginning to boil. So we'll stir that up a little bit. Turn the heat down to medium, to a, to a fast center. There we go. Set our timer for 20 minutes. There, boy, that's boiling now, look. That is working. Turn our heat down a little bit more. Love this induction cooktop. It gets it done in a hurry. So, there's where we want it right there. Got a good, fast simmer. All right. Now then, our next deviation from our foundation recipe, which is which is this, the buttermilk, the oil, and the egg is our foundation. We're going to add a teaspoonful of vanilla extract. Make sure you get the genuine vanilla extract and not the imitation. The imitation doesn't work all that well most of the time. And I have read and seen a lot of chefs and a lot of people that know a lot more about cooking than I do say that whenever you need, whenever you use chocolate, you need to use a little vanilla flavoring with it. So they know a lot more than I do. I'm not going to argue with them. But now then, we take the wets, add it to the dry, just like so. Stir this up, and the mistake a lot of people make is by overworking the batter. You don't want to overwork the batter, you just want to make sure that all the batter is moistened. There will be lumps, and I promise you the lumps will cook out. Just make sure the batter is real moist. There we go. Now then, step away. We're done. That's finished. Now we have to let this batter rest. It needs to rest for a while. So while it's resting, we're going to go over here and take our electric griddle. I love the electric griddle. It makes it really easy to maintain the correct temperature. You can use a skillet. You can use a burner griddle. Uh, 350 is what I put this on. You can use, uh, I have seen a cast iron little griddle that you could use. 
Um, but I like the electric because of the, the ability to control the temperature. So while the griddle heats and the batter rests, we're going to take a time out here for just a minute. And if we had a sponsor, I would say this is, we'll have a word from our sponsor. But since we don't, we're just going to fade out, let all this get ready, and then we'll come back in. And now then, our uh, griddle is, has heated up to temperature. Our um, batter has rested, and if you'll take a look here, you'll see where the bubbles are starting to form, form in the batter. That means that the buttermilk, the acid in the buttermilk, and the uh, baking soda are doing their thing as far as starting the uh, rising process or the leavening process. And once we get it on the heat, then the baking powder will complete the leavening process. So if you're using the pancake batter or the pancakes as a side dish, I would use maybe a third cup a measuring cup to, to measure them out. But since this is our, our meal and we don't want to go hungry, we're going to use a half cup measuring cup to make our uh, uh, pancakes. Um, anytime you're dealing with sticky materials like pancake batter, honey, syrups, uh, anything that's sticky and has peanut butter, you have a difficult time getting it out of the measuring cup, just spray it with a little oil. Spray it with a little cooking spray. And that'll, that'll make it a, a lot easier to get out. So, we spray down the griddle with that cooking spray. I, again, I use canola. So, we're going to put like one right there. Mm, love chocolate pancakes. Love them, love them, love them. And we're going to put another one right there. Alex, you think you're going to eat, you think you'll be able to eat these? Should be able to do something with them. Yeah. And put another one right there. There we go. Now then. Check our sauce here, and you can see it's beginning to get a little thicker. Still not thick enough, but it's getting thicker. Still got a little while to go. So, one of the things that people ask is, when do you flip the pancakes? The, the way you can tell to flip the pancakes is around the edge here, around this edge, it will, it will get dry. And in the center of these, it will start forming little bubbles. And these are not quite ready. So, I could either tell some jokes or do some soft shoe dancing or sing or something like that but I don't think you really want me to do that so let's give these a couple of more minutes and then we'll come back and flip and go from there and now it looks like these are ready to flip as you can see they are dry around the edge and they do have little bubbles forming up here in the center of the pancake so we're going to take these little fellas right here and flip that over like that. How about that, Mr. Alex? Make you want to slap your flip mama. that one. And then flip that one. Okay. This is the time to put the butter on it. Let the butter start melting. All right. Now, while these are finishing up, let me explain to you about the sauce. The sauce is not ready yet. You can see it's still fairly thin. So we're going to let it continue to cook and I'm just I'm going to tell you what to do with it. Once it gets 
once it starts getting thick, uh, you take it off the heat, remove it from the heat, let it cool to room temperature. That's very important, cool to room temperature. Then you add one cup of shredded coconut and one tablespoon of rum. Now, if you if, if you got kids and you don't want to go the rum route, you can, but the rum brings an entirely new flavor to uh, the sauce, and it is absolutely delicious. So uh, that's uh, if, you, if you, that's makes it a part of the adult menu, as I call it. Now then, we check these. They're still a little bit gooey on the inside, so we're going to let them cook just a little bit longer. And make sure this is still simmering like it's supposed to. Yeah, see, it's getting thick. Now, if you get it off and it's not as thick as you'd like, you can add a little more coconut. Or you can add uh, some powdered sugar to get uh, thicken it up a little bit. Get it to the consistency you want, and then uh, then you'll be ready to go. Let's check these. That's looking good. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. Need just a little bit longer on those. So I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll um, go away for another second and then come back. Okay, looks like these are done. You can tell when they're firm to the touch and don't feel like there's any movement on the inside of them. No batter rolling around in there. Get our plate. Stack these little, stack these little fellas up. Butter's trying to escape out. This one on top of that one, like so. This one on top of that one. Now you got a stack of three. Look there, three stack. So you're ready to top it, and I have some coconut cream, coconut sauce here that I made earlier. Just make sure it's back to room temperature if you take it out of the refrigerator. Stir it up good. And spoon, ooh, ladle some of that over the top of that. Look at that. Look at that. Now if you have any left over from putting them on pancakes, this is also good on brownies. You can add some powdered sugar to it, make it thicker, and use it as a cake icing. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You could put it on a piece of cardboard and it would be good. All right. A few sliced almonds for garnish. Just a few. And some squirtum whipped cream here. Some squirt whipped cream. And there you have chocolate pancakes with coconut rum sauce. If you like this video, be sure to follow us, share it, and like it on YouTube. And be sure and tell your friends to watch. Until we have another one, uh, this is Butch wishing you Heart of Dixie dishes from the Heart of Dixie.